Good morning. It's day 34. Here's our plan. Here's my shake all made with my coffee and my mocha blast. Then we're going to make a grilled cheese with mashed potatoes. Uh, we're going to head over to my niece's house and have one last pool day here. So this frosted cookie dough bar. Uh, maybe come home and have a caramel delight crisp bar. And probably end the day with our favorite chocolate chip cookie shake. I don't feel good today. I have kind of a sore throat, either from allergies or just talking too much lately. I got up and I was like, I need a cough drop. But then I remembered that would be all sugar. So I can't have a cough drop. Hmm. I'll keep you posted. Okay. It's the end of day 34. Uh, my throat is killing me. I'm kind of losing my voice here. That's great. Um, my day went well. I had the mocha shake, went over to my niece's house, and I had the caramel bar. Then I brought the rest of the egg roll in the bowl to have for lunch. Um, that was good. It's also gone, which is nice. Then I came home, I had the frosted cookie bar, and then I made the mashed potatoes into the grilled cheese, which was good, I had some tomatoes with that. Um, and then I just actually made the chocolate chip cookie into a chocolate chip cookie, which is just never good if you microwave it. And I keep thinking it will be, and it's, it's not. It's good if you make it a milkshake, and it's great if you make it a waffle, but it's not good if you microwave it. Live and learn. Okay, tomorrow is my last day of week five on Optavia. I'm doing pretty good. I will keep you posted. Good morning. It is day 35, the last day of week five for me. Um. Let's see, I woke up and I had forgotten to make iced coffee, which is good because the weather's going to change here in about, you know, 15 days. So it's summery right now um, and it'll be freezing in a minute. And at 530 in the morning lately, it's been about 55 degrees. So it's pretty cold. So it's almost time to switch from iced coffee to hot coffee. So I took my hot coffee and I put it in the Optavia Blenda bottle with the chocolate shake. I shook it up. It did kind of blow up on me a little. So we have to work on the correct mechanism to mix that together. But it really tasted like hot chocolate. It came out pretty good. Um, I'm pretty much out of chocolate shake mix now because I think it's my favorite um, to mix with the coffee. So next month we'll have to try to fix that. Um, my throat still hurts, but I'm pretty sure it's allergies and I'm not dying. I have a bit of hypochondria. Who doesn't? Um, let's see. I'm going to go for a walk and then I'm going to have a uh, egg white omelet. I might put the sausage in it this time because it was that much better with it. Maybe I'll try to pick some of it out so I don't eat all the sausage. But if I get it with egg whites instead of regular eggs, I think I got a little extra protein in there and maybe... Maybe it's not so bad. Um, then I'm not sure what we're gonna eat when we come home. Maybe I'll choke down some gross chicken soup because I don't feel good. And you're supposed to eat soup when you don't feel good, even though I really hate that soup. Okay, um, when I get back, we're gonna talk about staying on program. That's what we're gonna talk about. Whew, hey, we did it. It is the end of day 35. Feeling a little better. The allergies are still kind of kicking my butt, but we are trying to fight back with some good meds, get some Sudafed, <laughs> all the good stuff. Um, so I made my coffee this morning hot and mixed it with the chocolate shake, and it was delicious. It tasted like hot chocolate. Um, so that was pretty good, except I'm out of chocolate shake now. So I'll have to make sure I order some more of that for next time. I went out and I got my omelet with my onions and peppers and a little bit of sausage, tomatoes on the side. Um, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if I built it up in my head um, 
or if they just did a not great job cooking it today, but I gotta remember to tell them to cook the vegetables longer. I don't like when they're raw vegetables in the omelet. Um, came home, I ate the barrios because my throat hurts and I don't want to actually like eat any real food. So then I made chicken noodle soup. I've never eaten more of this in my life. Okay. It's still gross though. It's still like got this grit in it that I don't like, but I don't know. I just keep eating it. I had a chocolate chip shake and then actually I made a strawberry shake with the cream cheese because I couldn't think of what else I wanted to not eat, right? And I was like, well, you can at least drink that. That's how bad my throat hurts. I was excited, <gasps> excuse me, for strawberry shake. I don't even like the strawberry shake. It was a little better with the cream cheese in it. It did cut that really sugary sweetness taste to it. Um, I went for a walk, got my step count done, made plans to go for a walk tomorrow and the next day. So it's been pretty good for our uh, Labor Day weekend here. So tomorrow I'm gonna go for a walk with my friend Kendra. Um, and then Monday I'm gonna go for a walk with Mo. Now me and Mo have been on this for approximately the same amount of time. She's been a week ahead of me and she was telling me that like after the first day of school, she had a glass of wine and who cares, she earned it. And I was like, okay, you do you, it's your program. And then uh, then she was like, well, I took the kids to the movies and my son didn't even eat all his popcorn. So I basically ate the whole small popcorn. And I was like, all right, <clears throat> I just need a little info here. Do you want me to be supportive and tell you that you can get back on track, which I can do. I was like, or do you want me to tell you that like you've just taken yourself out of fat burn and you now have to struggle three days to get back in it? And she was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. And I was like, well, I mean, it's kind of all I think about. Like if we cheat on this diet, we go out of fat burn. I just picture a cartoon version of a liver and right now it doesn't have any sugar in it. But if you cheat, especially if you cheat with carbs, you're gonna fill it back up. And you don't go back into fat burn until you empty it again. So it's not worth it. I mean, the food is $400 for the month. We're like a month into this program, but we both know we have like six months to go. I don't know. Um, I thought we had a pact that we weren't gonna cheat through all of September. And now I'm like, well, I guess she's not cheating in September. It's still August. Um, but I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna reach out to some other health coaches and see like, I know, like I can't do six months of this perfect. I, I have plans to go out and eat with friends that don't include lean and greens. You know, but but like, what are what are the strategies to like, take a night off or take a weekend off and then get back on as quickly as possible. So we're gonna start thinking about some of that as we get, you know, into month two. You know, we're, we finished our first month, uh, our first week of month two. And so um, try to sustain this. How are we gonna keep doing this for the next five months? That's what we're, that's what we're gonna work on next. Okay, that's where we're at. Have a nice Labor Day weekend and I will keep you posted.